Hi, I'm Chris Irvin for WVVH. We're here at the Parish Art Museum for Two Forks and a Cork. It's the annual benefit sponsored by the Business Council that supports the Parish Art Museum. Now, as you can hear, it's really well attended. So we're going to show you some of the folks to make this possible and show you around a little bit. Come on, let's go. Terry Salton, the director of the Parish Art Museum, and I just want to uh, I want to thank you, Terry, for having us here, and uh, just tell us a little bit about what's happening here tonight. Well, this is our business council. Uh, there are about 150 members, maybe a little bit more now, and uh, it's local businesses who are interested in supporting the museum and being a part of the art community, and uh, it's a networking uh, organization and a support group. And how long has this been going on now? We've been uh, having this council for about four years now. Well, it seems like a big hit. I just uh, the music, the wine. It just seems like a lot of fun. Well, it's a great event. Uh, we have a, a very good group of people on the steering committee for the business council uh, that have helped put this together, and it's grown every uh, event. More people come, and of course, our goal is that every single person who is a business owner in the East End will join our group. What are some of the things that are happening here at the parish? What's new? Well, what's new, of course, is me. Uh, I joined the staff officially on April 1st as the new director. Uh, we are actually just getting ready to enter into a period of major growth. Uh, we have plans to build a new building, and uh, we will be expanding our program, uh, which is great right now, but will be better soon. And there are actually so many things to tell you about that I, I would need an hour of an interview. But mostly it's, it's the idea of... Uh, really building up towards uh, getting ready to expand. Well, that sounds really exciting. Thank you so much. You're Don Sullivan, who's the chairman of the Business Council. Don, what's going on here tonight? What is this all about? Well, uh, we're trying to key in on a little happy hour for our business networking opportunity. Uh, you know, the parish has a wide variety of support, you know, different uh, networks. And I'm the chairman of the business membership, and that involves over 200 regional and local businesses that support parish in a myriad of ways. And uh, for the most part, our mission, if you will, is to give support and financing to the children's art program. And if you were to look in the galleries today, tonight, the children's art program, which is uh, reflects schools from Wading River out to Montauk, and the artwork of the students locally is extraordinary. Well, I, I see there's like a really strong tie with the community and the Parish Art Museum here, and I suspect that's really what you reinforce. Absolutely. Our, our mission, again, is to really try to facilitate the, the message and the operations of the museum to the, the broader business community. As you know, I mean, yourself included, you're so busy going about your day-to-day, -day, your business, uh, gearing up for summertime, etc. You know, the world goes by, the day goes by. Yeah. So we try to try to communicate to any business locally that the parish is not just a museum for the summer, that we work hand in hand with the school districts of the East End. We are a big support for local artists and really a great um, asset to the second home community and the local community. So our hope is that businesses will get a little bit of a bang for the buck for trying to uh, coordinate you know, their efforts and support for the museum and in turn get some positive feedback. Well, it's also a great, uh, a great way to come together and have some fun for one evening too, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Uh, we do three events a year and this is our winter event, which really is a, a great informal fun wine tasting. So we have 13 vineyards here tonight, which is a great number, from both the North and the South Fork. And in the springtime, we do an event at the Wolfer Estate. And in the fall, we do an event here again 
uh, for a networking business network. But you know, the whole idea is not to be formal or too rigid. We really want it to be about you know meet your neighbor, meet your business neighbor. And a lot of the people, you know, they find they have you know uh, you know common ground, both from a professional standpoint and a personal standpoint. And that relates right back to the museum because you know we're all hopefully we're all you know trying to I guess support the goals in the museum and now that we're going to go the museum will go to another location in Watermill it's even more important that we get the message out outstanding Don well thank you so much and it is great. a great time thank you very much Starting We're here with Aaron Ferguson, who is the Director of Public Relations and Marketing for the Parish Art Museum. Uh, Aaron, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the events that are upcoming here and, and uh, what you're doing. Well, we have a range of exhibitions throughout the year at the parish. It's a very lively place for families, for adults, for children, for seniors. I think there's a little bit of something for everyone. In about two weeks, we have the opening of our high school art festival. It will be the fourth year, and it showcases the work of high school students, public and private, from Brookhaven, Riverhead, Southampton, and East Hampton, and we're very proud of the show. It well, sounds really exciting. I mean, uh, the kids really get involved with that. Uh, tell me what it's like to work with these kids. Well, it's a really wonderful opportunity for students who are serious about art and about visual art and it gives them an opportunity to showcase their work in a museum setting. And we're very proud to be able to do it and to be able to say to everyone, these are wonderful accomplishments, uh, not only of the students, but also of the art teachers in the area. And it's, it's very, um, I think it's important. Well, thanks a lot for your work, Erin. It's really important. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about the winery. Where, where, where exactly is it? We're on the North Road in Kutchog. Uh, it's kind of winery row there, as well as the main road. And um, we're probably, uh, I would say, in the middle of, of the 45 wineries when it comes to production, as far as size. Uh, we're medium sized, um, but we think we make some of the finest wine certainly in Long Island. Uh, we take advantage of the, the age of the vines. We have wonderful French wine consultant, French vineyard manager. All of our wines have a kind of an unusual French feel to them via Long Island, and we're very proud of them. Well, it must be really exciting to have these folks come here and try your wine. You had the winery now. Uh, Marco and Anne Marie owned it, have owned this winery for about 10 years. I've been their sales manager for about a year, a little over a year. And have you lived on the East End before that, or where? Oh you... yeah, I'm a I'm an old North Forker who uh, transplanted down to Springs about six years ago. Okay, all right. Because uh, when I uh, when <laughs> I shouldn't even tell you this, but I'll I'll make it the the fast version. When I got divorced, all of my friends and clients down on the South Fork said. The North Fork is a great place to live if you're part of a couple, but you don't want to live there in the winter as a single guy. So I made my way down to Springs, and I've been there for six years, and I love it down there. It's a real thriving art community, music community. There's a lot more to do, especially in winter. Well, thanks so much for coming here tonight. And, uh, oh, it's our pleasure. I'll have to come down and uh, taste some of your wine myself sometime. Anytime you'd like. Thank you so much. with Miles Romano of Time and Again and Delaney Oser. So tell me a little bit about tonight, what's going on, man? Tonight is Two Forks and a Cork, which is a benefit for the Parish Art Museum. Uh, they bring out local food merchants and local vineyards to show the townspeople sort of their wares, have some fun in the early springtime, and make some money for the Parish Rio. Okay, well, but I mean, what brings you here? 
my wife has been fortunate enough to support the Parish Art Museum for many years now. Um, we've always done hors d'oeuvres, I think, for this event for probably 10 years. Now. For two quirks and a quirk? Yes. Four years. Four years we've been doing this. And the Parish Art Museum is just a cause we believe in personally. Uh, we think it's important for the village of Southampton to have an organization like this. Well, Delaney, uh, tell me a little bit about how you've been supporting the parish over the years. Well, I joined the parish business council, I think, seven years ago, and I've been working on the business council since then. This event began four years ago. It's grown tremendously. We have a huge number of businesses in attendance tonight, and it's so terrific to have an event like this in the middle of winter when there's nothing to do in Southampton. Well, you know, I went to high school with you, and I know what it's like. I know what it's like here in the winter time. We both do. This is actually this is something else. I mean, you don't usually see this in the middle of winter, do you? A happening event. I don't think we could hold any. <laughs> Speaking of people we went to high school with, I've seen a few faces tonight. You know, it's really it's amazing. But it also goes to show you just how close knit the community is, and um, you guys really are a part of it. So it must be a lot. It must be very exciting. It is. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'm here with Louisa Hargrave, the director of the Stony Brook Wine and Culture. Wine, food, and culture. See, I always get that wrong. I'm so sorry. Wine, food, and culture. Because food is important, you know. Oh, it's so important. Can't forget the food. Well, tell, tell us about the importance uh, of wine, food here tonight. You know, this is really phenomenal. I, I think that um, this is so amazing to come here and see how many uh, wines, great wines are produced on Long Island and also the food, I think a lot of the food is local, the cheeses are local and to see what we can do right here on the East End, you know, 80 miles from Manhattan, it's really wonderful. Well look at this turnout, I mean obviously you can see people really care about wine and food, especially from here on Long Island. Uh, th this must be something that, that you're actually quite used to. Uh, you know, this is the Hamptons, people love a good party. But I also think that the business aspect of it is really important, people supporting, wanting to meet each other, wanting to network. And as far as I'm concerned, running the Center for Wine, Food and Culture, the cultural aspect of it is really key because it's not just about, you know, the fact that we have great food and wine here, but it's the art um, part of it. This is what gives us a cultural background. And the university coming out to Stony Brook, Southampton, to have a local university of our own, it also supports the cultural aspect of it. In other words, you know, the Hamptons has a reputation of being all about money. That's important. But you know what? Lifestyle is actually, you know, what good is money if you don't live well? And this is the good life here that we have and we enjoy it and we need to support it. And what I do is I do events where we bring producers together with consumers. People get a chance to taste the wonderful wines that we have here. We do wine education. And we do education and sensory evaluation. And it's really great. Well, it certainly tastes great. I know that. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming You're out. You're welcome. Thank you. Jan Rose. Jan, this is amazing, isn't it? It's great. It's a great turnout. Um, I'm on the business council for the parish, and this event is always fun. We always get a lot of people, and it's really great. But this many people? This is, this is actually it's packed. I think this is a record. I think. I don't know. I would believe it's a record. Yeah, but uh, it's nice. But you guys really support the parish a lot, don't we you? We do. We support the parish. Um, and also have a heart. It's a big favorite of mine. So. But this is there. There's several events that you guys sponsor throughout the year. There's have a heart. There's this and what else? Is there anything else? Um, I, everybody comes to me when they need something. <laughs> I never say no. So, but that's nice. How are things going at Rose Jewelers? Thank God, really well. I'm very happy. We're very fortunate. We're very blessed in this economy that we're still doing okay. So we've been here a long time. I'm so glad to hear that. Listen, I hope you have a really good season coming up and um, have fun tonight. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm here with Rick Friedman, president of Hampton's Home Expo. You know, your events seem to get bigger every year. Tell us a little bit about them. Well, we have over 250 sponsors and exhibitors. The show keeps growing and growing. We expect about four or 5,000 local homeowners to attend and about 22 media sponsors now. Wow, that's amazing. That's just incredible. How long have you been doing this now? This is our fourth year. 
It's at the, it's May 2, 3, and 4 at the Southampton Ducks Fairgrounds. You know, I hear people talking about your events before they happen every single year now. It must be so exciting to, to, to be doing so well out here. Well, you know, it's a bit of a down market, but, but, but people, it's the only show like this on the East End. So if, if these vendors have home improvement products, this is the really only place that they can really show it. And if they miss the show, they've got to wait a year. So we get, we get people to come back year after year. Well, I look at this turnout for the Parish Art Museum and the Business Council. It's amazing, isn't it? It's terrific. It's a great event. It's a great networking event. You know, I'm very encouraging of this. And I think the town needs more of this. I think it's good for, for business people to mingle and meet. And uh, I see a lot of new faces there. This is a lot of fun. Well, Rick, I, I really want to thank you for, for coming and speaking to us tonight. And I hope you have a lot of fun. I am. And I look forward to seeing you in May 2, 3, and 4 at the Hampton's Home and Garden Show. Outstanding. Thank you so much. Thank you. Holly Dunham of the Corcoran Group. Holly, this is an amazing event, isn't it? It's a really great turnout. The band is wonderful. I never heard of them before, but I'm very, very impressed, and I think everybody's really enjoying them. It's quite a turnout, too. Tell me a little bit about how you support the Business Council and, in turn, the parish. Well, I get involved in trying to organize these events, trying to find people that will donate their wines or their breads or their cheeses. You ask, do you know it about us? Do you want to get involved? And, and that's what I do. We meet about half a dozen times a year. We have three or four major events. Um, this is one of them. I, have you ever been to one at the Wolfram Vineyard this summer? No, I actually not. Yeah. That's the first one I ever went to a couple summers ago, and I, it just so amazed me. I called someone and said, how do I get involved? And that's how I did it. Anybody can do that. Well, Anybody can do that. It sure is a great way to break up the winter, too, isn't it? I mean, uh, just to see all these folks, where they all come from? You know, if you're in the real estate business out here, the restaurant business, everybody knows everybody. They come here and the next thing they do is they go out to the restaurants for dinner. So if you want to get something to eat, you better like maybe leave a little early. <laughs> well, Holly, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Okay, so tell, tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Pamela Ornstein. This is my business partner, Renata Patetska. And we own a spa here in Southampton called Ananas. Oh, I've heard, of course, yes. Yes, and, and how long have you had the spa? This is our fourth year. It's fantastic, and, and uh, you're, you are one of the partners? Yes, we are business partners. So what's it like? I mean, it's sort of the dead of winter right now. You must be getting ready for the summer. We are, but it's been a fabulous winter. We really? had really a surprisingly exciting winter. I heard there were more Great people winter. around than, than usual, but um, so... Weekends have been fabulous. So and right. uh, February was really busy, so we can't complain. We're very happy. Well, also, when you get to go to an event like this, it just breaks it all up. It's okay. just... A, Yes, thank goodness for this event in February, because February is a pretty quiet month. After, after all, you know you've got Valentine's Day, but beyond that, you're getting tired of winter, so it's nice to have this. I know, I know I'm tired of winter already, but, but this, this really makes it a lot better. I know. Thank it's you so much. very congenial. You're welcome. Bye. And we're here with Rebecca Cooper, who owns the gallery in Sag Harbor. And you know, I, I've, I've been by the gallery so many times, it's so amazing. Tell us a little bit about it. There's always a lot happening, and the art is fabulous. That's the important thing. We do art walks, art talks, special presentations, slideshows, midnight suppers, twilight tours. Meet the artist, and most of all, you're going to love the art. How long have you had the gallery now? We're going on three years, and we're opening with three blockbusters. Well, you know, you support the Parish Art Museum here, and uh, you know you're very involved in the art world. It, it must be really interesting to come here and meet meet folks who are actually in art. That's the most important thing because the more people interested in art, and the Powers just such a wonderful job bringing people in, the happier the world is. Oh, absolutely. So, what's it been like in Sag Harbor? I mean, you, know, you you have a lot of followers there. Tell us a little bit about that. It's an art town, really. We have many fabulous galleries. Everybody loves all the places they go. It keeps getting bigger and better. It's the new Soho. Absolutely. So what are your plans for the season? What's it going to be like? Well, we're going to do a couple of special opening benefits, and um, then we're going to just bounce right into doing some of the new emerging talent here. 
Listen, I've got to stop in sometime. Thank you so much. I'm here with Richard Extract. Richard, tell us a little bit about what you do. We publish Hamptons Cottages and Gardens magazine. It's, uh, it's uh, well, I'm sure you're familiar with it. Well, I sure am. How could you not be familiar with it's it? It's a favorite everywhere. in this area, yes. You bet. Now, you, you, you showcase a lot of the, the houses that are here on the East End? Indeed, yes. That's our specialty. Well, tell me a little bit about that. Um, what are some of the things that, if somebody didn't know about your publication, what would they be looking for? Well, first of all, no magazine can be better than its editor. We have a fabulous editor, Barbara Dixon, who was actually the founding editor of El Decor magazine. She's about as, uh, I would say she's on a par or superior to most national magazines in the shelter category. We also have a fabulous art director, Ivy Tashlick, who makes magic with these pages. I think this magazine is saved by more people than anything else, or anywhere in a regional magazine. It's just uh, more and more people tell us they've, they've had the first issue from seven years ago. No, I've seen your magazine for a long time I've now. I've seen more coffee. When I go to visit friends, everybody has it on their coffee table out here. Very you bet. popular. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Hope you have here with Pam Snyder. Pam, this is something else, isn't it? Yes, it is. Tell me about what brings you here. The wine. <laughs> Actually, I love wine, and I don't know a whole lot about the Long Island wines, so we've had fun tonight kind of going around and sampling them. Well, you can really taste a lot of them here, and this is really uh, a great sampling, what they have. It must be very interesting for you. It's been great, and you can pair it with some of the cheeses. It's a home run. Perfect, perfect. Well, thank you. Have a good time. Thank you. You too. I'm here with Tom Taylor from Janet Montgomery Scott. Uh, what is it that brings you here tonight? The uh, Business Council for the Art Museum. We have a uh, networking three events every year, and this one, Two Forks and a Cork, is our wine tasting event. And as you can see, uh, everybody's here tasting wine and networking and having a good time. Are you tasting any wine? I've had uh, a couple of Merlots that I liked. <laughs> well, this is amazing. You know, I, I've said it before on the other interviews I've had here. It's just amazing how many people turned out. Is this normal for an event like this? It's, it's something that it, it, every year just gets bigger and better. We get more wineries, and everybody here is, uh, you know, they've donated everything, and they've, uh, their staff and their crews have done a great job, and we thank them for everything that they've done. How are things at Janet Montgomery and Scott? We're investment bankers out in East Hampton, and uh, things are doing fine with us. I'm so glad to hear that. Listen, I hope you have a good time tonight. Good, thank you. Why don't you tell us who you are? My name is Linda Schaller. I'm a former member of the business club, and also a former member of the art club, and a member of the Paris Museum. And I'm delighted that Terry Sultan and um, her husband, who is a very talented artist, are here this evening. Well, it's a surprise visit. I was hoping to see this so well this is, a, this is amazing isn't it yeah and it's i've never seen the turnout like this i've been here for the last five or six uh business club receptions but this is exceptional and i was just hoping that she would make a surprise visit and she did <laughs> so. well thank you so much for coming out well thank you With eugenia brunet eugenia are you having a good time tonight excellent time this is some turnout isn't it it's a beautiful band, beautiful crowd, beautiful wine. And you've tried all the wines yet or no? I think so, almost all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you have a good time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm here with Nadia Nestes. Are you having fun, Nadia? I'm having a great time. <laughs> what brings you here tonight? I've been here last, um, last year also. We had a wonderful wine mm. and unbelievable cheese. And this year they even have chocolate. Oh. Where are you originally from, Nadia? I originally am from Russia, from Moscow. Ooh. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was just in Moscow. They, you know, it, it's a lot of fun to, to go to a new place and to, to taste different things. This must be actually a lot of fun for you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun for everybody. It's our local wines also. It's very nice to see that they've finally grown up enough to be really drinkable and yeah. really good. The acidity went down, the bug control, I have heard, has been <laughs> very well <laughs> put together. So Thank you, Nadia. The wines are very good. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I'm here with Southampton Town Council Milan Russo. Tell me a little bit about tonight, man. Are you having fun? Having a great time. It's a great event. Listen, wine and cheese, great band. How can you go wrong? You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. And, you know, it's just so much fun tonight seeing everybody here having a good time. It must be really something for you to, like, meet some of these people that you haven't met before. It's a great night. You know, I've met a lot of people. I know a lot of people, but it's just... It's comforting to see so many folks out in the cold winter night out in the Hamptons. Uh, again, great event, great place, and we're having a great time. Yeah, it just reminds you that it is a community, even when it's desolate out there. Even when it's desolate, we have a great community. Southampton is a great place, and obviously you can see it firsthand. Have fun. Thank you. Hey, you guys having fun? Who are you, first of all? I'm Carol Reed. I'm with Lush Interior Design. Gabriel Chacon. Dara Goldstein. And we're having a great time. This well, I'm so glad to see you here. Isn't this amazing? This is awesome. I didn't. I never expected it would be so proud. A lot of good people, too. Oh, it's just, a, I can't believe how many folks are here. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's good really for awesome. business card trading. There's a lot of business cards going back and forth. Good. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming out. It's especially important to us to have you here tonight because we really are getting ready to move into an amazing period of growth and development for this museum. It's going to make such a difference to us and our ability to serve you and the rest of our community with our new building. And we want all of you to be involved. And if you haven't joined you this one of council yet, tonight is your night to do so. You can do it in my honor so that you can welcome me in April when I come back officially as the director. But I'm looking forward to meeting you all personally, to visiting you in your businesses, to giving you some business, uh, and to welcoming you to the museum often. So thank you very, very much for coming. And I'm going to pass the mic on now to our next speaker. And uh, have a great time, and uh, we'll see you in April. Our Sharp Museum has some of the greatest art in the world. Long Island has some of the greatest food and wine in the world. We have to support and recognize what we have here and not constantly be thinking, oh, New York City is better. The business people of Eastern Long Island have the best of all possible worlds and we need to get together and support it. And that's what we're here for. If any of you are interested in learning some more about wine, check out our we website. Just Google Stony Book Wine and you'll find out a whole lot more about us. And I'm going to turn this over to the Dean of Stony Brook, Southampton, Martin Schooning. Well, one thing I've learned in 20 years in academia that lectures on Friday are very, very unpopular. So I'm going to keep it very short. We're delighted to be here in the East End. Uh, Stony Brook is one of the top public universities in the nation and uh, one of the top, in the top two in the world. And we're bringing that kind of quality to the Stony Brook Southampton campus, and we're delighted to be part of this uh, community. And I'll turn it over to Doc. Enough said. Thank you very much for coming. We've got some terrific wines. We've got some great hors d'oeuvres from time and again. We have Louisa at 715. We have Terry, and we have about seven or eight of our committee members. But please, support the museum, join the museum, and make sure you try all the wines. And really, thank you very much to the vineyards tonight. They are terrific. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us for Two Forks and a Cork here at the Parish Art Museum. We want to thank the Business Council for having us here. We had a great time, and I know everybody else did here, too. Thank you once again for joining us. We'll see you next time. I'm Chris Irvin for WVVH-TV.